Welcome, so you can read the book of the Lord. Now we're going to cover about the topic about Matthew 5, verse 17 to 19. And Jesus said, Jesus Christ said, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to, pull, to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one title shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men, so he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. In verse 20, For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. So Christ teaching us that we should fulfill, fulfill the law. In what sense? In, in what way? Because Christ gave us a understanding in conclusion is verse 20 that Christ challenging us that we should be um, more righteous other than, rather than the scribes and Pharisees. You shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven if we, if, if, if we don't do that, right? That's why in continuation of the verse, ye have heard that it was said by the, them of old time. This is the reason why we should be ex, ex, um, we should be more righteous than the scribes and Pharisees because of this verse. Ye have heard that it was said by the old of them of old time, thou shalt not kill, and whosoever that kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger in the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar and the rem rememberest that thy brother had ought against you, leave their thy gift before the altar and go thy way. First be reconciled by thy brother and then come and offer thy gift. And it, if we continue the chapter or, or the, the passage, this is all about comparing the old law and the new testament law in Christ under of Christ system and also about adultery in old times Moses said that don't commit adultery thou shalt not commit adultery but now I say unto you that if you look with the lustful heart with the with the in the woman you are committing adultery in your heart so Christ was is teaching about conscience here Christ was teaching about conscience here about conscience about heart about spirituality and also in verse 43 ye have heard that it had been said thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy in old testament but in new testament but i say unto you love your enemies bless them that curse you do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh his son to rise on the dead, on evil and on the good, and send it rain on the just and on the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans. So, be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. It's very clear that in verse 44, love your enemies. Okay? It means Christ was teaching here that use your heart to follow your, to follow the law. So Christ is not here to destroy the law, 
but to fulfill the law. Okay? Unlike those Jews who, who claiming that they think that Christ was um, want to be equal with God because he, he calling his, his God as his father and he breaking the Sabbath. Actually, yes, he break the Sabbath in the sense that he healed people. Right? But the Bible says that we are not greater than our Lord Jesus Christ. John 13, 16. So, if we follow Christ, how we, sh how we going to follow the law according to the system of Christ? Okay? So, until now, Jesus Christ didn't teach us that, hey, don't, don't follow the law. Um, but instead, break them and destroy them because I said so. I don't think Christ is was come into the earth to destroy the law. But first of all, in 2244 of the book of Luke, it says, And he said unto them, this is, this is after of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Christ said unto them, These are the words which I speak unto you while I was yet with you, when he was alive with them. That all things must be fulfilled, which are were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Christ said that those those things that I said unto you, that that all things must be fulfilled, those those laws, law of Moses, prophets, and Psalms concerning me, it should be it should be fulfilled. And when Christ was when Christ was alive, how He given us an understanding that how we should fulfill the law according to Christ's system. Matthew 22, verse 36 to 40, it says it's this. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love thy Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So all things Christ teaches us about law, that on Old Testament law, we should follow them in we should follow them in love. We should fulfill them in love. That's why Christ said um, in, in, in wisdom, if you see uh, a, a woman with the lustful eyes, with a lustful heart, you are committing adultery. Why? Because if you love your neighbor, you are, go, you are not going to look at, look at, look at her with the, with the lustful eyes and with the lustful heart. And also love your enemies. Okay, and also don't don't hate your brother because if you hate them, it's it's equivalent of killing them, right? You know what I mean. So Christ is teaching us how to fulfill the law in His way, the way of what the way of love. That is the teaching of Jesus Christ, and I believe on that. And also I believe that this is the teaching of Paul as well. And we read in Romans ten four first, Roman, Romans ten four. Let's read. The Bible says is this. Paul says, For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believe it. Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believe it. It means Christ fulfilled the law. In Romans 13, 8, it says is this. This is how we fulfill the law. 13, 8. Oh, no man anything but to love one another for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. So again, how we fulfill the law? Christ teaches us to love. Paul teaches us to love. Christ is the ending of the fulfillment of the law, the prophets, Moses, and the Psalms. And Moses said, Christ is the ending of it. Christ is the body. That's why That's why Paul says in Colossians 2.16, the Bible says this, Colossians 2.16 is this. Let no man therefore judge you in meat, or in drink, or in respect of an holiday, or of the new moon, or of the Sabbath day. 
Why? Which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. So Christ is the body. The shadow is the Old Testament. That's classic. Classic teachings of the New Testament of Jesus Christ and Paul. And it's very clear that we should follow that the way of Christ are following the law. It's not the way that how... How Jews, how Mo- Mosaic era, Moses, Moses following the law in, in Acts 13, 38, let's read. It says it's this. In 39, And by him all that believe are justified from all things, from which he could not be justified by the law of Moses. It's very clear here that we are not justified by the law of Moses. In what law are we justified? Let's read in 1 Corinthians 9. Okay. 9, 20 to 22. Let's read. And unto the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews to them that are under the law, as under the law that I might gain them that are under the law, to them that are without law, as without law, being not without law to God, but under the law to Christ, that I might gain them that are without law. So Paul says that he is under the law of Christ. And as a reference in Galatians 6 2, it says is this Bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. So the law of Christ in the Bible is love God and love your neighbor. And that's the teaching of fulfilling the law. Matthew 5 17, Christ did is not come to, to destroy the law. If Christ did not come to destroy the law, so we I we should fulfill. The law in love. Okay? In teaching of Christ and Paul. To the Jews and Gentiles. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And our next video is about prostration. About bowing down our head and ourselves spiritually to God. Thank you for watching.